Scientists says miracle molecule nitric oxide could treat or prevent COVID-19. Nitric oxide is a colorless gas used to assist newborns and adults with acute respiratory illness. Research quotes the substance as a miracle molecule because of its therapeutic effects. The human body produces this gas to reduce inflammation. Once inhaled, it dilates blood vessels to increase blood and oxygen flow. Dr. Luis Ignaro, who won a Nobel Prize in 1998, said, I have every reason to believe that the inhaled nitric oxide will be quite effective in relieving all of that inflammation and the destruction in the lungs, which is how the SARS-CoV-2 virus kills humans. According to newspaper St. Paul Pioneer Press, two major issues found in severe COVID-19 patients are blood clotting and inflammation. Both complications can lead to untimely death if not addressed. Nitric oxide's effects help prevent blood clotting and keep the blood flowing to organs. Also, the gas is found with antimicrobial properties against bacteria, parasites, and viruses. It is a useful molecule in patients with acute respiratory distress syndrome. At Massachusetts General Hospital, studies in nitric oxide as a treatment for COVID-19 are listed. One of the studies is currently exploring it as prevention for healthcare workers. Researchers enrolled 470 healthcare professionals who are dedicated to patient care of SARS-CoV-2 cases. Participants are randomly assigned to subject and control groups. All participants observed the strict precautions for COVID-19. Subjects inhaled the 160 parts per million of nitric oxide before and after their work shift. They are being monitored for symptoms and body temperature, like controls who will not inhale the gas. Another study will determine if nitric oxide can improve symptoms of patients with mild or moderate COVID-19. The primary outcome is to assess the reduction rate in mechanical ventilation and intubation. That rate will be compared to the typical labored breathing frequency in COVID-19 cases of between 5 and 10 days and severe respiratory distress syndrome from 10 to 14 days. Dr. John Walker, a clinical instructor of orthodontics at Boston University, said that nitric oxide is produced in the sinuses. It means breathing through the nose promotes production. As such, it is more important to encourage nose breathing than mouth breathing. Nitric oxide is not to be confused with nitrous oxide or the laughing gas.